All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your girl 100, your neighbor with all the flavor on the Keeping It 100 podcast. And I got my beautiful Frankie Lou in the motherfucking building. Period. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing great. Oh, ma'am sounds old. Oh, oh, it, okay. I, I, I got to work on that. Yeah, ma'am okay, sounds ma'am. like that. Oh, like okay. A, so, so no ma'am at all? No, no. You, okay. bitch, so how you doing? Sis. Okay, Girl, see, I, I you, can be, trying... you can be super comfortable with me. Bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's get yeah. it. So now, now, now we talking, now so we what's talking. what's going on, Frankie? I appreciate you for coming through on my very first show. I appreciate it's y'all having me. Like, it's a pleasure for sure. I really had to come. I just got off work. I was like, I can't yes. I got to come. She was like, you come through. I was like, I got to come through. I got to show love. Even though I look like... You're beautiful. Ah, I was yeah, like, she the curls his hair. Tell, tell her, tell her in my comments, baby, how beautiful she is. Because baby, we don't. Y'all. Number one, we don't crack, and number two, period. Not taking nothing away from the rest of the girls, because I know how you like to tussle. But when you pretty, like it don't even matter. It don't. Half the time. It really don't. So matter. like, you can do whatever when it, you it bad. don't even matter half the it time. Don't. It don't. But yeah, so you just getting off work. Mm-hmm. You're a bartender. I do. I bartend at Old Lady Gang on Peter Street. Oh, uh, So if y'all okay. in town, come check me out. How you like it? I love it. It's cool. It's like a big tourist attraction or whatever. So it's not really. I don't get. A, you get some regulars that'll come back or whatever, mm-hmm. but it's more like a tourist thing because they got the TV okay. show that's filmed there. So okay, so that's just come the, there just the one for. on Peter Street. Mm-hmm. On Peach so that's the one they film. They film the TV show and oh, okay, okay, okay. So you know, shout just, out to yeah. OLG and them short ribs on the appetizers. Oh yeah, they yes. are good. Delicious. Everything is good. The menu, yes. is good. menu is really delicious. Nice. right. It's, you gotta come. So you I haven't come went to the me. one on Peach Tree. I go to the one on Camp Creek. Oh, I see. I never been to the one on Camp Creek. Either, yeah, so. I've you know, it's like a, a smaller you know. It, it seems to me compared to the one on Peace Street, like a to go style version. Mm-hmm. But it's still good. Shout <laughs> out to Candy O L G and Auntie No. Right. Thank yes. you, ladies. Okay, how long you been bartending? I've been bartending like four years, four or five years now. What got you into bartending? Um, so I was tra- I'm from Boston, so uh-huh. I transferred down here and my job like lost funding basically and laid everybody off okay so i was like driving uber one day and then someone was like you should just go be a bartender i think you'll make a good money and i was like i'm not a bartender and then she told me about the school so i did the class and i was like oh, maybe i should so the next day i'm driving like the uber and lift shit right. and this lady got in my car she was like so frustrated and she just starts talking to me and i was like oh my god you said i got a bad day and she was like yeah i fucking hate this job i gotta manage this stupid bar <laughs> and then she was just said i was like oh you manage a bar hey <laughs> Then she I was, just got out of class. Like, I was like, I just was doing bartending school. And then she was like, you want a job? Because I mean, I got rid of this bitch today. And now she's like, I need somebody. And then and yeah, happened, I just, just started like bartending. That. And then when I seen how fast the money was, I was like, oh. I go to work all week for how much? That Man, when I say that is It's bad. It, the, it's like so fucked up because it's like, dang. I, I be wanting to have like a corporate job and have the benefits and shit like that sometimes. But... That fast money is like a dick thing. And no, no, it is like to the point. Bar, people, people look at us. Even service people look at us like we don't. You know, we make a couple hundred dollars. No, as a bartender, yeah, I'm, bartender. I'm and made, you in the right spot too. Yeah, in Atlanta? like I've made up to maybe fifteen hundred to two thousand a night. Oh, you in a good spot. I think the most I've made a in a night. night was like a stack. At the right at the right spot. Like so like, much money, yeah. I didn't even know what to do with it. I was but just it's like, just like one night you need maybe five, six hours yes. the most. And yes. it's like, hold up. Yes, because I get started start counting. And it's like, ooh, I was waitressing at first and then I was waitressing um like bottle girling in the club. Yeah. And somebody had suggested like, you should get behind the bar. And I'm like, Cause oh, you no. ain't got to tip I'm out not, nobody. Know, Everybody exactly. tipping you out. And when you I know, got you get the real good there. money, I have not left the bar since. I love it. Like, Period. I That's love me. That me. I be turning up my gas. We be having, well, I can't really do too much at Old Lady Game, but when I used to work at Escobar and everything, like twerking with okay, them. Okay, Escobar South? Or? Yeah, I was at the South South. I was on Escobar South. Okay, okay. I was there for a minute, and then I like... I know if I, we, we rock with that. I know a couple of people there. My homegirl just got the management position. Shout out to Selena. You know, always oh, watch the actress. Yes, 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 yes. Shout yes. out to Selena, the actress. Yes. Color purple. Period. BMF. 
Period. Big team. Period. You feel me? Shout out to my homegirl because she's doing bitch. the damn thing. I love Selena. With the acting and, and my niece pools and, and her, her Yeah, daughter. she got her daughter. Yeah, I seen that. I said, okay, I love that bad so, bitch vibes. I love it. I love it. You know, shout out to all yes. my females doing big things. You know, all my friends. Because I can't wait to tell somebody like, oh, that's my bitch. Right. That's my, my bitch right, right there. there. I know her. She's about. like, oh, that's my friend. I be seeing Selena post and stuff. I be all proud of it. Yes. Like, in the I'm so like, proud of her so and she like she she supports she supports me just as much as I support her. Right. And she be um, showing me hella love too. Yeah. Me. She'll like oh, post she my shit love. on. And I'm like, yeah, I she does. She and shows I, love. I just love bad bitches. I love boss yes. bitches. Like I exactly. love bitches that actually are doing shit with their life. Yeah. They take care of their kids. They got like yeah. shit going. Those type of bitches, I'm like, oh, bitch, we can be friends. We can yeah. hang out. See, like, I, know, you ain't no you, weird I understand bitch. we all go through stuff, but I can't even have you in my in my circle if you don't have nothing going on. I'm not talking right. about like life situations, going through things. But, but if you, you need don't to have, have no dreams, dreams about yourself right. or no goals or no drive, no passion, I can't no have ambition. You I can't I, do anything. I can't have you around me at all. I'd be like, bitch, there's nothing fun about being Girl. broke or dependent on a nigga your entire Girl. life. Like, okay, you might want to not work a couple months. You might want to get spoiled by something. You know, we just do it for a little bit. I might do that. Sip, sip. Right. Mm. But uh, I'm not finna just just be a nobody or be broke or really depend. Like, I got to do stuff. I got to have shit for me. Like, for my legacy. Okay. My kid. So, she like that. do you consider yourself an independent woman? I do. Okay. How do you feel about the 50-50 conversation? With niggas? Yes. If it's the right nigga, I don't mind. I could. I don't mind. But it just got to be like my man. And I'm like really picky, so I don't be having boyfriends for real, for real. I might talk to a nigga for a week or two, maybe yeah. a month or something. <laughs> right. And I might drop that like, nigga because... Yeah, it's not working. Yeah, it's not really feeling it. But... I don't know. A nigga gotta make me feel like I want to spoil yeah. them or I want exactly. to do something for okay. them. It just can't just be... It just can't just be anybody. Like it just yeah. can't. That, but that's how I feel about relationships too. Like I don't just date anybody anyway. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind 50-50. Actually, I do mind, but then I don't. <laughs> yeah, I know how. It's I feel. like it's a it's a. I'm not. Right. Yeah. I feel like okay. When I was in my last relationship, like my nigga knew I would pay if I wanted to, but he would never even dare make me that's you know the what I'm saying y'all heard y'all heard my sis so it, it got to a point sis. where it's like I wouldn't mind if if it's like oh if he don't got something to say or he left his money at home or it could be anything it's like no baby let me get it today I got exactly. this or something cool but paying hey, bills cause y'all don't be understanding the differences sometimes they like, don't our, our part is optional now we're not saying we some bum you know right, I'm not a bum ass not bitch that do shit that's exactly not, that's not the case never the case our part is just optional require optional but optional right, like, it's, 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 right. It's the and, you, and you gotta make me want to do it like I have no problem with Spoiling the shit out of my nigga. Yeah, I don't have Period. no I have no problem. Cause I, I don't even have no problem with going 50 50. Now, I'm not a 50 50 person, but I don't have no problem with going 50 50. Like I'm the I'm the type. Like if my man carrying all the bills, it might just be a month where hell, I just might pay all the bills. I, I might just do it because I, I feel like just doing bills some, and just you know? like you know I I had that this month. Say that little part, but it's not. A requirement, but I still feel that men are supposed to provide and protect. Like yes. I'm really a big like. First of all, if you're gonna be with me, like what if, what do you bring into me that I don't give myself already? So if you're not providing and protecting, like I already protect myself, I already provide yeah. myself. So if you're not trying to take certain stresses away from me, and I'm supposed to like give life to you in other yeah. areas, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, what I gotta pay the bills? <laughs> yeah, what I gotta take out the trash? It's just like, this is some shit where I just feel like it should just stay. With I'm that. And I'm gonna I'm be the back. I'm like the security. Yeah. Like, you know what? I'm gonna take care of this baby. Well, you know, if I shit happen, my bitch got me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But why? Why does she got me? I got us. Oh, How was you your dating, dating life? Uh-huh. Uh, pass. We'll drink to that. Uh, we'll uh, drink to that. Open the pop the bottle. Pop right, right, the bottle for that. Take the jacket off. Okay, now, pop the bottle because we could go on about it. If you want to talk about a dating life, oh Lord Jesus, us. It is a mess because we can hit the blunt to that. Yeah, all of that. Like I don't know. I'm like I think I'm single, but I'm pretty sure I got somebody that'd be mad at that. Uh, right. But at the same time, you ain't really stepping up to be all of that. So I'm. What's single. the type of man you prefer, or like what's 
what's your we're not speaking for everybody because like everybody has like, like all personality way, all and all type of stuff. what's your ideal you might even if you haven't had that yet you get what i'm saying because some of us haven't had our ideal person but if you could build your ideal person if i could would be mm. what would he be like okay well he definitely would have his own bag um i would like him to already have at least one kid because I'm not really sure if I want to have more. So if you come with yours, you might not want to have more too. So we might be on the same page. Okay. I don't like feeling pressure where a nigga don't got no kids and they just be okay. like, oh, I'm trying to throw a baby in it. Yeah. <laughs> like ain't ready for all that. We didn't we didn't take it that far. Yeah, I did that. I don't I don't yeah, I might that gotta wait. Um I would like him to be ambitious, to like want to do things have either have businesses already or i'm a, i'm a type i will be i will grow with a man too like so okay. but it has to be on my level like i'm not yeah. growing with you when you way back there say that again like on my willing level. to grow with a man but he has to already be like on my level on like because i'm level. not super level. successful right now but I'm but you ain't trying to start all the way from the motherfucking yeah, no, bottom. I'm not about to, like, you ain't got no yeah, car. You exactly. live at home with your mama. You ain't uh-uh. got. We I'm, I'm past that there. stage. Yeah. So it's just like you got to find somebody yeah. on your stage because there's bitches out there that don't got that shit either, and they might want to grow with you too. It ain't me, but yeah. it yeah no. Like right. I I'm a type. I really would start with somebody and like we build up together. But you definitely got to have your own. You got to have your own money. You got to yeah. take care of your own self. Yeah. I don't expect if it, if I know you ain't really got it, but I fuck with you as a person. I'm not expecting you to be paying my bills because, one, you don't live with me, so I'm paying my own bills, and you can pay your bills. Cool, we could build up. You got some businesses, you got dreams, ambitions, whatever you want me to hype you up, I got you. But ideally, yeah, we got to at least start on the same page. But I would want you a little bit above my page, not like right on my page, but like close enough. No, no, I get what you're saying. Because because I like a man that'll lead. I don't really want to, I don't want to be teaching you gaming. Like, I like to be stimulated by my mind, so I need a man that's going to stimulate my brain. Like, Mm -hmm. put me on the shit, put me on some money moves, or put me on anything. So you're more of the submissive person to the no, right I'm to the right one I'm to not submissive right. I be wanting yeah. this is what I said about my ideal man this is what I want oh, oh okay <laughs> but this is in general you're not you're no, not submissive because I be looking at niggas like I would never who are you For like sure. you're not man enough to make me be submissive so my ideal man yeah. <laughs> would make me be like all right, I want you to lead. I want you to do this. Like, I, you're the man. You're supposed to. You're supposed to be the man. Like, yeah. not me, because I really do be the nigga. Like, yeah. it's like a real nigga that lives inside Girl, of me. Girl, we I'm relate so much. He might be my twin flame, bro. Uh, so I'm t- I'm t- what's your sign? Capricorn. Girl, I'm a Taurus. Oh, I love Taurus. Yeah, my ex, my favorite ex was a Taurus. Oh, let me oh, we the best? cut that out. Don't let him know that. Ah! I mean, a shout out to the Taurus X because you oh know my God, are these to get on my shit. nerves. But that's Ooh, the one yeah. when I said like he would never make me pay for Ooh, nothing. Yeah. Like he wouldn't dare like ever. That was like when I say I was so, in love. All my friends was like, oh my God. He like, was Taurus and I'm a Taurus. And when I say you didn't get he Capricorn. has set the standard. My my oldest children's father, Capricorn. Oh, he it. has set the standard for guys to this day because he like he literally took you know now we bumped heads as bulls but he literally took care of home to the point he he set the bar Period. for my dating life you so you know shout out to them big bulls we be on that That's bullshit but we really did we really the shit you i get really what do I'm like tauruses though like that really was but he told me i was just so mean <laughs> I'm like, it's the camera. Yeah, I, you must have been mean as fuck because we mean motherfuckers. Oh, I, I, like, I feel well, like well, you got a baby daddy that's a Capricorn. Like, it's that we got, like, I'm the half goat. And, like, you know, y'all are the bulls. It's just like, we just, sometimes it clashes. But that was, like, my greatest guess passion re- and my greatest, on the like, reverse, real love. On the reverse end, I don't know. The Capricorn I, I was dealing with slick. He slick just let me have my way. Because I think he was probably having his motherfucking way. But he slick really let... I mean, if he wasn't with the bullshit, don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. But, yeah, we didn't too much bump heads too much. It, the, the bumping heads was the bull and me. You know what? That's crazy because the bumping heads was him. It's like, yeah, the I, bumping heads I was, was stubborn, the but it would be because of shit that he that. do. And it'd be like, bruh, like, what the fuck? I give you nothing but fucking love. Like, you stupid little bitch. <laughs> you not getting yeah, this. Yeah, 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 I right. really fucking you're, love you, and I don't love people. I don't like people. I'm really mean to people. Yeah. And this nigga was just like, he just was a tourist, but I just loved him. Mm-hmm. It yeah. didn't work out. But cool game. We still cool. We still, uh... <laughs> 
Yeah, no, you know. So let's get to this music. Let's get to this music. So before when we was discussing on the sneak peek, we got Missy as an influence, mm -hmm. Eve as an influence. Mm -hmm. Those are my bitches. We have who else? We, we said Leah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah of course. Those was like my. Up. Those were like my starting when I was like real young. Like that was who I like super looked up to. Got to high school. That's when. <laughs> I became like a barb. Like yeah, uh, in the high school, beginning of college, all of a sudden I'm a barb now. But it was like such a gap for me. And it wasn't like a gap. Like I still fucked with like Lil' Kim and Remy and Foxy mm -hmm. and all of them. But I really wasn't allowed to listen to them because it was so much dick sucking and shit like that on their songs. Uh, so my mom, my parents was just not having it. Uh, I, but I loved them, but I just wasn't able to really listen to them yeah, like that. Or so, openly listen. Like open I had to like yeah. sneak and be at my homegirl's house and be yeah. like, I used to be scared of the dick. Now hey, I throw my right. and shit. Handle it like a real bitch. You know, I know Lil' Kim shit too, you feel me? But hell not. And that song got me slapped by my dad one day. Girl. That nigga said, What was I saying? It was I was way too young to be rapping about sucking dick and throwing my lips to it. It was just but, too much. but you didn't even realize what you were saying at the time. It was I did it. I kind of did, but I did it. Yeah, I kind of did. At least, you, at least you admitted it. I kind of. Yeah, I'm trying to get my kids the benefit of the doubt. I really be trying to. I be trying to get my kids the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, mm -mm. they don't. They just like the beat. They be like. Mm. Nah, they nah, like I kind of like really too, like the songs and everything. Nice to be like, Ooh, a little freak too. Girl, like, when Nasty came much. out with Boosie and Mulatto, and my kids love Mulatto. Girl, that was one song they loved, and I'd be like, shut the fuck. Wait, you can't do it. You can't sing that. We do that with my son too. Some song, but hey, I was hey, like, you can't. Turn that not, shit off. Not, not right. I'm like, not that one. Not, not that. Right. One. Not that. You TikTok is the devil because they make I had to any, take that shit from my any son. song. How old is your son? Nine. Yeah, any song they make a dance to, it's going straight to TikTok. Like to the point, sometimes people just make little sounds and it take off and they'll build a song. Out of the sound that they got a whole on. little dance. Mm, yeah. mm, so why dance. you had why you had to take TikTok from Sun Sun? Because it was just too much shit. Like then he was just saying all the little sayings. I was like, oh, this mm. is just too grown. This is just too much. Like yeah. I just can't take this. Like I like I like for kids to really to be, be kids. kids. I yeah. wish that the whole world could really just let kids be kids and be yeah. innocent. And even though the world is fucked up, but maybe if they was not into the whole fucked up world, maybe we could make a better world. I don't know, but. Yeah, I just had to like nah pump the brakes. Now I'd be like, if you want to upload something like, or it has to come through me, you can't even watch TikTok. But he could upload yeah. videos like we'll do stuff. But yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I you're one of the few, and I salute you. One of the few parents that will actually do that and remove it because it, it is it is toxic. But some people just feel like, hey, lift my child out of my face. Then you know, take off. Nah, so, I be getting mad. That nigga. Then he found YouTube got reels. I said. Took that <laughs> shit. As a matter of fact, so he got. Then we had to, I don't got him got an iPhone, now. so we had to get him a, like an Android phone. His grandfather got him one of those. Uh -huh. I said, "Word, get that shit," because them things got the real parental uh, like guidance. Yeah. You can't girl, look at no I, site that got I this phone, on you it. Would, this. You would think you could block everything. But you can't as much as I can on an iPhone. You can't do shit. Really, yeah. you just can't. It's just like a free for all. On the Android, it got like parental locks. Like you can't go on like certain websites that yeah. works. But at least if it has ratings on it and everything, mm. it'll block. It'll block apps. It'll block shows. It'll block yeah. all of that stuff on there. So. Yeah. I did like that. I was like, because okay. these kids is is heavily influenced. Y'all, this kid's killing themselves out here over Girl, here, like yes. over social media and stuff yes. like that. It's, that is sad. But not only as far as the suicide rate, and before I say this, I am not. I, I love all. I am free for all because <laughs> I know <laughs> how you folks like the tussle. Oh, the sensitive crowd. Wait, what crowd are we talking about? Like, before I call them sensitive and they get mad. I'm that, sorry. They sensitive too, but like the LGBT community. Oh, the alphabet community. I, I, am, fuck with all, I am all for that. But like, this is the first time in my life I've seen like kids starting out in middle school. You know what's crazy? Okay, I do want to speak on this. I honestly don't yeah. care what the alphabet says to me. I don't really care what anyone says yeah. to me. <laughs> well, I just be like, but I don't say I'm, anything I'm that's amazed, like not politically like, correct. But and they be dead like die hard switched out and well so in their mind you feel me i i'm all for you could be as gay as you want for me i don't give a shit you could be as lesbian as you want you could be as much of a boy as you want or a girl you could dress like a tomboy i dress like a tomboy i don't really care 
But you're not switching, you're, you're not changing your sex as a young, like you're under 18. There's no way even a parent should be able to sign for someone to change they're their sex. That. Do you know how many kids, okay, you, there are a lot of kids that will, they're gay from the, from the jump. They know it. There is, but there's I, also I get, a lot I of kids that. that are just, I'm influenced. I just want to yeah. try it out. I just want to see. I don't know. Maybe I'm into this. And then now I feel like shit's so like, oh, well, if you feel this way, yes, yes, yes. You can do it. And then it's like, but. What if they change their mind? What if you like let your kid, your girl, now she got a dick, and then when she turned 22, maybe she wants Ma- a vagina back. Right. Uh, you know, or maybe she done found a certain religion, and now she like, she depressed for the rest of her life because she feel like she didn't change what God made her into. At least, especially as a child. Into. Like, if you, like, that brain, it's cool to say that children can think for themselves. Cool, mm. but let's be real. Yeah. Like, if y'all going to try to say the nigga in Buffalo would had a mental illness and try to protect him because he's 18 and was it okay for him to do it? Was something wrong with him? No, nothing's wrong. You, you're you old enough. It's always something wrong when they do it. Right. It, no, it, right. And when they do it, it's when always they do it, it's it's a always mental illness. It's a mental and it's maybe illness. something happened in their family and right. we got to help this lost person. Blah, 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 blah. But you can't even... I mean, other than, you know, normal violence every day, but some, like, mass shit like that, you can't even mention or remember the last time a black person has did some shit like that. Yeah, I the DC sniper. That was, like, the but, only one. Right, but how long? And, and he was... He was, he like, was the only black. one. Right, he that's, said, that's, I was that's like, like he's on Jamaican side. That's you know the know only one I can think of that I can remember. So, it's, but it's really. him. And how long ago was that? Black people don't do shit like that. We don't, first of all. Yeah. First of all, I've seen a few black people snap like on the single social media, but it'd be like to their baby mama. Right. Not on, no, not, not on saying no it's mad, okay, but it's but like. Not on no mad shit. Nobody's though. out here just like, and, I'm going to wake up and this whole and school is going much down. As not, this I, whole church is I going down. I will admit down. that what? every black person, whether you admit it or not, and, and we love everybody. I say we love everybody. But every black person got a little bit of I hate white people in them. Just a little not, bit. Just, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not ashamed to say it on my motherfucking show because y'all know it's true. Yeah. But every black person just got just got a little bit. But I feel like I don't got hate, got but a, I feel like it's the same way I feel about like I love black people, but sometimes I look at niggas and I'm like, why we gotta be niggas? And then it's like I don't hate white people, but some white people just like why you just gotta why be you white? Just, just why? Just why you, you gotta do that white shit? Right. And it's like it's not everybody, right. but it's like. Why you gotta do this nigga shit? Why you gotta do this? Why, right. why you just gotta be white and do this stupid mass shooting and kill white? Why you gotta be so hateful? It's but really we, why you gotta be so hateful. But we ain't out here killing no groups of groups of white people. Like we we not doing that. And they want to so. start a race war. It's so bad that I so seen bad. I seen this post and I like reposted it online one day. And it's like back home, and I'm like telling people, like, oh, Boston's so racist, Boston's so racist. I was like, there's hella racist shit that go on, like, all around the world. Everywhere. I was like, but now, in this day, I feel like it's just more. It's just like getting blatant. Like, it's like, just out there. I felt like it was like people might follow you, people might judge you, people, office is definitely gonna harass you and shit like that. Mm. But that's out here too. That's, yeah. you black. It's just being, that's being black in America. I've been here like six years, probably five, six years now. But that's being black in America, not just mm-hmm. Boston, not just Georgia, not just Texas, not just being black in America is yeah. like fucked up, yeah. like in general. So people yeah. be saying that, I'm like, they're like, Boston's just too racist. I'm like, bro, you don't think it's racist out here? <laughs> like, what? It's, Are, it's is it more so everywhere. they're more openly? races yeah. out there or like I feel like it's even more open out here like I have never I seen like the KKK doing like a like a march when I first Girl, moved out here was I was in Stone Mountain doing a photo shoot well, oh well that that is look at every as soon as I say that, that everybody be like that what, is where know, the head they, they, they go meet up is. over there yeah. the opposite gonna tell me like y'all are making a disturbance so what's going I was just like I was like, like what? It wasn't like they had white hoods on and everything, but I know when like, you see the flags, when you see the sound. Yeah. Like, I just saw. I said, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Like, is this like for real? Get, like I've never seen that in Boston. Long. Like I never, I never witnessed that in Boston. Maybe somebody has. I don't know. I ain't never ever witnessed that. I feel like it used to be like segregated. I feel like in the hood, that's where all the black people lived, and then like Southie, that's where like all the white people lived. Like yeah. Like that's a, like uh. Bobby Brown is from where the black people, where I'm from. Bobby okay. Brown is, that's my type of Boston. 
Mark Wahlberg Boston is just like a different type of Boston. <laughs> okay. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like okay. certain it's people when they look, I'm from Boston, they'd be like, okay, but where are you? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> OP, like, that's not too, I'm from Dorchester. So Dorchester's okay. right next to Roxbury. Roxbury is where Bobby Brown and I'm from, OP. So they write okay. there in those projects. I used to play ball in those projects all the time and everything. So it's like, it's just a different vibe. So when people say to me, I'm like, uh, if you watch the new edition movie a little bit, like you know what I'm saying, like where he's originally from, that's like where I'm from. That's that's my Boston. Okay. So, but other people got Boston like it's just the white area, so they 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 might be racist over the hell here, but shit, I don't go over there. I'm in the fucking right. hood. I live in the hood. Right, I'm 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 on this side of the tracks. I live in the hood. I stay in the hood where I know the shit is ghetto as fuck, but I love it and it's my family. I just say, but I know my schools, everything. So it's like, yeah, but. I don't even know how we got on that topic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yo, but while we on topic, off topic, whatever topic, guess what you finna do? You finna like, you finna hit that subscribe, you finna share, you finna comment on my shit, cause this is my first motherfucking episode. Hey, you talking yeah. about? And this your girl Southside 100 with my beautiful homegirl Frankie Lou, and, and it's your good. neighbor's favorite neighbor with all the motherfucking flavor. And you know, we finna pop this bottle as well to toast off for the first episode as we keep this motherfucker yeah, going. Make it, so what, make what else we be doing? What else we be doing around the city, Frank? Um, so, you know, speaking of alcohol, I'm sponsored. I wish I could bring, bring you a bottle, but coming from work, it was just like, oh, I, I feel but you got, but you got I the do, hat I do, I do have that hat it's, on. It's called Revanche, and it's a cognac, and okay. it's, um, it's owned by these ladies, like, multicultural ownership, a black lady, and it's a white lady, and it's a guy, and everything, and they're just all together. Um, just how did you just, get into, like, sponsorship, or how did you Do you know what's funny? I met, the, I met them at a photo shoot one time, uh-huh. and well, I met one of the ladies, and she's, like, my mentor now. We became super close. Like, she gives me the best advice on uh-huh. business, puts me on to things. Like, she's just, like, a lit person to have in my corner. But I met her at, my best friend is a photographer, so I met helping him at one of his photo shoots. Uh-huh. And I guess she was there with one of her clients. And then I'm like, girl, I sell lip gloss. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you know, so I be having, I just be doing things. Like even this hat, this hat was just black, so they gave it to me, and then I just designed it or whatever. And yeah, then, so cool. I was just yeah. like, yeah. So you know, if anybody wants it, they could just because it looked like they gave it to you like that. I but, like the way. You know, I, I like how you put your book. I put my little thing, extra you know? thing. So I got yeah. a few hats that I did. So I told them I was like, yeah, you know, if people wanted, they could hit me up if they get the regular hat and like spice this up for them, and you know, make my little money because I'm so always that's hustling. That's something you doing your spare time. Time or you got like a little I'm just a hustler in my spirit on. where it's just that's what I told you. I met, I met her by saying I sell bottle pop. Oh, oh, hey, you talking about yes, yes, yes. Oh, period. Y'all oh, know 100 good for popping the motherfucking bottle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. clean up on our folk, clean oh. up on the 14th floor. Hey, because right, we about. in the high rise right now. You I already me. know what's going on. Toast to big things. So yeah, basically I met her selling lip gloss, you know, hustling always as I'm doing. I got, it's like 8 billion hustles. I'm always, mm-hmm. wherever I can get another so bag. Just a hustle on the yeah, spot. it's just like, oh, I can do this? Let me do this. So if y'all like this hat, right? I, there's other ones. I got the bucket hat. I mean, so follow me online at Frankie Lou. That's for, F- for sure, because I'm finna, I'm finna get me some shit because y'all know me? I love supporting the motherfucking brand. So it's Frank, double E-L-U. So follow that and uh yeah you can get these hats you can listen to my music my singles called all my bitches bad you see i'm here with the all baddest. my bitches bad i'm with the baddest so yes we're keeping it on it. yes and it survive. so yeah i don't know i just i met them i got that deal then she just be bringing me around everybody uh i've been making with the, i fuck with the plug djs out here they have they fuck me heavy it's it's just like a lot. So you got a mixtape out. I got MP these two singles out right now. So okay. good vibes and all my and it's okay. called A and B. So all my bitches, but A and okay. B for sure. If you look it up, it's A and B. So A and B. It, so it wasn't too vibes. explicit when somebody was like looking up my shit. Cause it's okay. still be like, all I know it says Apple everywhere. Music, all that. The clean version. A and B. Dirty version. Good out. vibes. But yeah, it's an A and B. F R E E type of summer. Period. Shout out to that girl Glow Rilla for you, putting out that motherfucking banger and that's shit. That's the vibe. Girl, because I'm, I'm hanging out the roof <laughs> with my wretched ass friends. All summer, they already. Yeah. <laughs> yes, when I, I seen that's the most ratchet shit I ever seen in my girl, life. I love it. I 
I love it. it. I, I love like, it. And it was ratchet. meant to be ratchet. It was. Because she wasn't. said it was my ratchet. <laughs> yes. Like, okay, and she, and she meant that shit. That shit is yes. hilarious. Yeah, uh, and, I like and I hope that takes Charlie real far. And she, I'm, I'm waiting to see what she got next. Hopefully, Glow, we can get you on the show. You know, I hope she do got stuff next because I hate when like someone come out with something like a little one, and like then, then it'd be like, then they drop out something after, yeah. and then it'd be like, oh, you could okay, thank you, giving me Osiris vibes. But you know, <laughs> I don't. What do you sing? Ah! Don't don't sing the um. I'm again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's got me yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, when I first heard that song, no bullshit, I played that back. But and I played what it. Do you know, but what do you know after that? I have no clue. I, but I seen him. After he be that? on like Instagram Anything? and him and Drake. He owe him like, niggas yeah. money. Yeah. But uh, you know that's all I owe. I, I know you from that song and owing niggas money. Yeah, I don't really yeah. know much. About him, but yeah, so that's basically. I don't. I I just be wanting people like when they go viral or something, or something really could pop off. Like, what you about to bring next? And then when you hear what's next, you be like, bitch, sit down. You but, yeah. you on to this TikTok phase? I'm I'm you, I'm trying to like get over. So I'm just like, I need to find somebody girl, that do it, and they me, can do it, and then I'll just copy what y'all do because I'm not really good. I don't really know. I'm not good at any. I'm not good at social media because they they like show your life. I don't know what to do. I be feeling. Mm-hmm. I be feeling like that. But I'm like, I got to create content. I got to get my content out there. I got to do it. And I'm, that's another reason why I do the podcast. It's like good. to create content, get myself out there. But And we're doing the first episode, so that means you really followed through with it. You really, I, that's, so you thought of something. Yeah, yes. And you really went through all of that. I'm yeah. proud of that. Thank so, you. Salute to my name of her badass. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate that. I love it. So I'm trying to end. These kids is making big numbers on YouTube and TikTok. I'm talking For about real? big numbers. Um, girl, I'm I just about, started getting paid like on Instagram, and I was like, "Wait, y'all, we really getting paid?" For this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was like, I looked. I thought it was a joke at first. I was like, "Huh?" Yeah, I was like, "Is this it? Are they going? Oh, that's cute." Yeah, get you know, get you a little couple dollars, you know. It ain't always gotta be OnlyFans, y'all. Just right. put yourself out there. You feel them? Some people gonna like it, some people gonna hate it. But guess what? You they gonna still gonna be watch paid, it, and they still gonna watch. Period. So yes, I, I wanted the OnlyFans though. Hey, you know what? I, I used to <laughs> secretly wish I had it in me to just be like, oh, if I just make some fucking videos, I know I make. Some. I just my whole thing was I done did a lot of shit. I done did a lot of shit. But that's the one thing that's going to get back to my mama. I just know. And I, I, I done did a lot of shit. I but that's the, same that, way. that's the one thing that's going to get back to my damn mama. So my, you ain't got to work. Now, like, I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to lie. I made the account, y'all. But I ain't never promoted a, or, stick the, or stick the tag up because I was like... No, cause I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the motherfucker. You pay for my subscription. I'm gonna be on this motherfucker smoking and shit, showing you all the good weed. Maybe the latest scams in my old. You know, life. See, that's not a bad you know. thing. though. somebody might want to pay to see that though. You know, but so, yeah, the other way. Yeah, I was just that, watching bitches. I said that's crazy. I'm just making money. Like but that. really, the celebrities that got one really have people subscribing just to see. The what same the, stuff they post on Instagram. The same shit that you motherfucking posting. Thinking you're going to get exclusive content. Now, I ain't hating on your hustle. I'm not knocking it. Like, for example, B. Simone got like a, a close friend. Like, anybody could pay to be in her close friends. And I'm pretty sure she shows a lot that, you know. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if if you're going to pay for her shit to see what the fuck you got going on, anybody really pay to just see what the hell you got going on. I'm trying to get like that. And these folks that made six, seven figure bags off OnlyFans. Yeah. Like even the white, the little white girl. Not saying white girl like that, because I know y'all like the right, same song. Right, but you know what you're talking about. Bad baby, bad Barbie oh, or whatever. Love. Yeah, I know you talk about. Yeah, she done made a bag she off did. that. You can look at, look at her like, I mean, she, she real pretty she look, She's, she's but, like really, she, honestly, she's really grown into herself. She's, yeah. She's, she's adapted a, the culture and made it her as I've seen. <laughs> and I, and I, I was like, okay. I love the she way you put that. Yeah. It, it was giving Kardashian vibe. Yeah, but I, I, but uh, I like. I, I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind the. Co- I don't mind it. You know. I feel like it's you love us so much, but you still can't do it better. But yeah, it, it looks or cute even, on you, or even close. But it, it, it looks, looks cute it on looks you because I'm not a hater. I'm not it, a hater, it, it, but it, I do yeah. see the culture it, and I appreciate it. It, it definitely, and that's how I feel about it. And I don't. Some people go so. Oh no, they're trying to be like us, and it's just like. 
I see it. It's cute on you. It's not me, yeah. but it's cute on you. But then you know what? I heard a I heard a white girl say in response to that response, like, "Well, do you think it's not the same in reverse when you wear our long straight hair?" And <laughs> yes, blah, bitch, blah, blah, and blah, I look and cute. I'm like, <laughs> and, and, and I look good. Yes, <laughs> and still look better than you because I'm black and I did that. And it's I did that. It's different. It's a different vibe. So I don't mind yeah. if the bitch said that. When you wear, bitch, I the day I put on a blonde wig, mm-hmm. I haven't even tucked. I do a couple colors, and sometimes I'll go black, or sometimes I'll wear my natural hair. But I just like, I was like, yo, this is just like a vibe. Like, I yeah. like it. I'm blonde, Not today, though. It really is a mess today. I just got off work, y'all. Don't, don't judge this. Just but guess see what? me when you see me for she, real. She's I'm just in a real bag. one. She's I in can't her bag, and that's the point. Period. Mommy is in her bag. Period. And, you know, I, I made some good money today. I made a lot. <laughs> and do you notice? You make the most money on your rough days. Be like, damn, I was busted in the motherfucker, but bitch. Do you feel me? And then when you take the time I do your makeup, be all cute like y'all, which y'all wasn't feeling, feeling me today or something. Like, you ain't you know. I got a couple dollars, but damn, like, you ain't you know, know that y'all just was put, bad, bad. It wasn't just a gratuity today, you know? <laughs> like, that shit is, I love it when I like, so regular days, like, I just look regular. I be at yeah. work. Like, I might put a little concealer on, so my eyebrows or something, put on some lashes, but I keep it super regular. But like on Friday nights when we have to like dress up and everything, mm-hmm. it'd be funny because even my coworkers be like, Frankie, like, come here. And I'd be like, right. get the fuck away. Y'all are hilarious. They'd be like, no, you bad, Frank. And I'd be like, oh, thank you. But then it's just funny because it's like, I feel like, you know, I'm a bad bitch. So are you like, when the cameras come in and stuff, like, how is that for you all in the staff? Are y'all meant to be, like, more standoffish and they well, focus funny. on funny. I that? started working there after they filmed. Mm-hmm. So I had no clue about this show. I had no clue who the fuck anybody was. No, I no just, Candy, no auntie. No, I knew, like, I knew of Candy and her aunts because of the Real Housewives, but I haven't yeah. watched that show in, like, so long, so I haven't yeah. really caught up. So really, I had just got laid off again. From <laughs> I went back to doing a corporate job. I was working at Amazon, and then like our whole little girl, station thing I've got been shut down. Amazon stories, girl, girl, it was like horrible. Fuck Amazon. Fuck Jay. I fuck what is his name? The Bezos nigga. This nigga. If I haven't met him, I'd want to fight him because like, how dare? How? D- First of all, I was the driver. Tell the girl. No, the Amazon tea. It was just like the worst experience I've ever had. First of all, I'm getting, I'm there from like 10 a.m. I probably get there mm-hmm. 9 30, 10 o'clock. I'm not getting back till like 9 30, 10 p.m. So, and that's because I gotta drive an hour away to where my neighborhood is anyway in the first yeah. place. So I drive an hour away to this neighborhood. Then it's like the houses are not even closed. <laughs> I'm getting the like that. It's confusing. just so long. So it's just like by the time it gets dark, I don't even feel safe in these, yeah. <laughs> no offense, but offense in these white ass towns with yeah. these people and my black ass is just wow. driving around, going up to their house door because I can't leave it at the front. I got to go up there. People got dogs. It's just like crazy. I be seeing all types of racial shit the out there. Ever. I have, like, it's just, I have it not just bad heard. experiences where it's just like, no. Not one good Amazon employee no. story and eight, really, Nine out of ten people will be like, if I catch that nigga Bozos or whatever his name is, they be like, bro, we pulling up the strong way on that nigga. Because like, I should be getting paid way more for the shit. First of all, I got chased by a dog before. Like, I was scared. Oh, my God. I was like, yo, I had like a real man, male man experience and I was over it. There was just so much shit. It was raining one day. I busted my ass like trying to. I was just like, yo. I fucking hate it. You be the shit. videos we be seeing yeah. on ATL scooping shit. Oh my God. Oh man, it just got, it just was like the worst experience. It was just bad. But anyway, I had, we got laid off. And then I was like, fuck, I need a job. My DJ was like, yo, go, go to Old Lady Gang. You should work over there. So I think you'd be cool over there. So I was like, and she'd been sending me jobs when I was working at Amazon, mm-hmm. but I was working so goddamn much that I'm not getting off till 10 o'clock at fucking night yeah. or sometimes or 8 o'clock at night, whatever the time it is, and it's dark out. If I'm getting back so late, I'm missing all these job interviews. And I was trying yeah. to get into a good club. Like, that was my thing. I was like, I yeah. need to get into a club. I need to get into a strip oh, club or a I bar. Like, somewhere where I, yeah. I was like, I need to make at least $800 a night. Because I know club money. Yeah. So I'm like, I need to be somewhere where I'm on a good night. I don't care if it's a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever. But I'm walking out with almost a stack. Minute. Yeah. At so least, I, at least, and I'm missing every interview, week. bitch. I'm missing every fucking interview. Like, because of the stupid ass job. Then we got laid off. I said, 
I should have went to these interviews. I knew I wanted to leave the job anyway. Yeah. I, but I was like, fuck it. So I went to that one. And it was like the weirdest interview I felt like I ever went to in my life. And they were just like, how do you feel about celebrities? And how are you going to act like this? And I was like, what the fuck are they asking me all these fucking so questions? So people, people really be coming in there or it's really just sometimes they do. standard crowd? It's sometimes they do. But then they was asking me like, how I deal with cameras and all this. And I'm asking them. I'm thinking they're talking about like little cameras, like the security camera. that you. No, nah, they got these big I didn't know because I told you I ain't face. never seen the show. Like I ain't never knew nothing. Yeah. So I'm just like, what? I'm, th- I'm like, it ain't don't yeah. bother me. Like, I'm coming to work. I'm like, bro, I just got laid off. You like, ever seen so yourself, th- you know, on the show? Before, no, no, no. Like, so I, st- I told you I started after a film. Oh, so I okay, never okay. even so did. I never, never even knew oh, that. Okay. I didn't even know they had a okay, show yeah. there. It was just crazy. Just And then I, when I left the interview, I didn't even, all of a sudden I leave the interview, the radio car turned the car and the radio just came on. And here was Candy on the show. Like, oh, yeah, the TV show for Old Lady Game on Peter Street. And I was like. Is that the place I just went to? So something I've always wanted to ask about that place. So is it just Auntie Nim recipes or Auntie Nim be back there sometimes cooking? No, it's just their recipes. Okay. It's their recipes. I want to know that. And then they grand. Because you know when the cameras start rolling, Auntie Nim be back they, there They cooking. be there, but no, they don't. They haven't been. I, I don't know. I've only been there a few. I've been there like two, three, almost three months now. Okay. So I'm like, really, they just finished filming. Mm-hmm. Like, I just didn't know anything. I went yeah. there. Just being me, like, oh, what's, I need a job. Like, what's up? And then I said, people be like, how's the show? I'm like, Brad, what? I don't know. <laughs> what show? So then people started talking about it at work, and I'm like, what? I'm like, hold on. I'm so confused. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Guests will be asking me. And they're like, how's Philip? And how's this person? And how's Brandon? How's this very nice? to be like, they cool to me. Like, right. I don't really know. I don't know. I'm chill. I just come to work. And... Yeah, so it was just like, a, I didn't even think I was going to get the job because other bitches was there interviewing and I felt like they was being extra. And I was just like, okay. But sometimes it takes you farther to just be yourself. And that's how I felt. I just I am at work still. Like, right. I don't give a fuck. I know they on TV, that's but how, I don't give a that's fuck. That's exactly <laughs> how I am. I just be I'll like, that's work. just so-and-so. And that's just them. And, you know, I, and I, I love go them. straight, presentable, but I won't take the time out to be no extra because I'm just me. And I know people fuck with me for me. It could be times right. that... I be sick as a dog or aggravated as hell, and my regulars would be like, I be like, chill out, like, you know, check that shit at the door. Right. But yeah, like, I I make it just by being me. That's, how, not, that's how I feel you gotta be. Like, I really don't care. I don't care about nobody else's fame. I don't care about nobody else's money. Like, I don't care because. <laughs> you're just, you're just still you to me. You're just a person. Like, you got status, which is lit. But I feel like I would. I'm gonna talk shit to you like I knew you my whole life. I'm gonna treat everybody the same. Like I'm just that's just I just talk shit to get people comfortable. Like I'm like, oh, what's up? Like I said, no, sis, you could call me sis. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever makes you comfortable. Do all that. Yeah. Let's just have a vibe because yeah. that's my vibe. And be like, life's so short. I just want people whenever they encounter me yeah. to be like, yo, I fuck with Frank. I had a vibe that day. You know what I'm saying? Because I done lost people so close to me that it's just like. <laughs> I just want to give good vibes. And that's how I got that other song, Good Vibes, which is out too. <laughs> Shout out. Y'all go download that. Good <laughs> Vibes. Exactly. And ABM. A-N-B. A- all A-N-B. my bitches. Uh, all my bitches. All my, see, uh, all I, my bitches. I told y'all the last time I was trying not to cuss as much, but I had to get but now that you right. Got to all my time. bitches. Right. All my all bitches. bitches. And good vibes. And good vibes. Make and sure good y'all vibes download that. Good vibes. All streaming platforms. My girl, A-N-B. Frankie A-N-B. Lou. Mm-mm-mm. For sure. So, what's yeah. some of your goals? What you got coming up next, Frank? Um, my biggest goal is I want to write for like all the stars. Like I want to make hits. What? You are? You my twin? I told you we were my twin flame. You not like, for, for real? real. For real. I really don't want to be like famous, famous, like for real. Like I don't. Yeah, want- everything. <laughs> <laughs> you is my t- I say this no, no, nah, all jokes aside. Because it's bro, too much. I sometimes. say the same shit. Like I just wanna write and out and be behind the scenes. I still wanna make that good bag. Right. But be behind the scenes, girl. Oh my I God. feel like I wanna just Lauren Hill at one time. Like just pull out I might put out one good album. Let that and I want it to be like timeless music because I feel mm-hmm. like if like people can already tell from like if you hear good vibes and you hear all my bitches dead, like they're two different sounds, but it's music that it's like, yo, I could really fuck with this shit. I could really fuck with that shit. And it's like, I have so much sounds yeah. and songs that it'll be like, this might be a nice timeless album or timeless music, whatever way I decide to drop it. And that's it. I just want to put myself out there do that. But once I do it, 
I want to do it right. Like, I'm investing my shit the right way so it gets to the right people. And then I just want to write for everybody. Like, fuck it. That's let me lay back. I'm let me, let me chill right now. I'm not notes. trying to be 50 writing. I don't know even know if I'm going to live till I'm 40. Like, yeah. I, I swear my whole so mentality changed. So you the moment right now. Yeah, so it's just like, I just want to live in the moment. I just want to live to just, I really want to reach my goal. I'm writing for stars. I'm writing mm-hmm. real big songs. I'm writing. They're coming to me for records. And that's like my biggest goal. If I do that, everything else, I'll, I'll, I mean, that means I'm really going to do everything else I really want to do. Like, but that's going to be like a real big goal. It's like, hell yeah, I'm just writing for the fucking stars. Yeah, that's what's up. We see. are so similar in so many ways. You don't know. You just met your team. Oh, we're going to have to get together. Period. But my good sis, tell my folks where to find you at and where to find your music yes. and everything else. Make sure y'all follow me online, like I said, at Frank E E L U. That's Frankie Lou. And you can click the link there. It's going to take you to everywhere. You can find me Spotify, Deezer, Apple, Tidal, YouTube, All that. anything, SoundCloud, whatever you need, you can find it and stream my shit. Period. Oh, you feel me? Fuck with me. Make a little TikTok. Cause Cause I want somebody to do something. I don't really know how to do much. But you show me something. And I'm gonna do the TikTok. We're gonna, we gonna do a TikTok together. Okay. We're gonna do a TikTok yeah. together how, one how day. We gonna something, 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 something easy. Cause I ain't, I ain't got it all the way down. Pay right. But Neither. these kids, my kids, they be on that thing. Like it's, it's See one. They do. They be. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yes, it's that. You it's one of the it. I, the guy song I like. The I like. Mm-hmm. I still ain't got they they do all this. Oh yeah, yeah, that's shit. Yeah, I cannot get that shit for shit, man. I don't know what either. But don't I'm, I'm trying to get that. But yeah, man. You gotta send them to me so I can practice and then when we meet up, we already know that shit. Well fucking show. So we can act for like sure. yeah, we just <laughs> But yes, man, I appreciate you for coming out. Thank you for so having my me. My first episode, like toast to this. that you did, yeah, the baby. beautiful Frankie Lou. Did we just tap wine we, like it was liquor? Because we gangsters, right? We, real niggas, we, we, real, real, real niggas, real niggas so, living here. You feel me? Who you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> But y'all already know what the fuck going on. It's the Keeping It 100 talk show. And it's your girl, Southside 100, your neighbor with all the motherfucking flavor. And it's my beautiful Frankie Lou in the building. And shout out to my motherfucking home team, the We Good Podcast. You already know what the fuck going on. And we good. Shout out to the Goody Mall and, um... I'ma have to get me one because we got a goodie mom. I'ma have to um yeah, we we gonna have to call us the Benjis or something like <laughs> we finna get us something, but yeah. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stream us on all streaming platforms. Don't forget to like my shit. Don't forget to share my stuff. Don't forget to throw a comment, throw a 100 emoji cause you fuck with your girl. We love y'all. We so motherfucking nice. good. Shout out to Frankie Lou. Thank you. Holla at you. Bad bitches in the building. Period.